Hi everybody, this is Neil Allen, the creator of the comic series That Swan Multiversal Guardian, which you could read at my website, thatswan.com. The link to that will be in the video description. And today we're going to be talking about inking. Um, I actually have a page I'm working on right here. And you're going to see me as I'm inking that top panel there with the green figure. He's a character from my comic called Piers Zomesti. Here's the rest of the page, by the way. I'm going to bring you along with me while I'm working out this page some. And as I mentioned, today is going to be about the inking process. So you'll see some of the tools that I use, some of the methods I employ, some of my philosophies about inking. And I hope that this video is enlightening for some people because I know when I first started inking, I wasn't, I'll be honest, I wasn't really sure where to start. Um, I didn't know exactly what tools I should get. I know that there were resources out there and I did look into some of them, but still I was a little fuzzy on the exact road to take. Like what am I supposed to buy? Why aren't my results looking like um, other people's and things like that. So I will probably make a series of videos about the topic of inking and um, coloring and just uh, doing other um, aspects that, you know, bring this, you know, comic, bring a comic page, you know, to a whole page. But anyway, let's get right into the vid. I hope this, in, this is helpful for people. And if so, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications and check out my own work at zatswan.com. All right, let's see what I'm doing. Let's start by going over some of the tools I'm using. So um, I'm using a light pad first. I have a whole video on how light pads work. So you can look at that on my channel. And I'm using a um, Windsor & Newton Series 7 Kalinsky Sable brush along with Speedball Super Black ink. So I am dipping the brush into that um, bottle of ink that you saw flash by the screen real quick. You can't see that though because um, I when I go to dip the brush it's off camera. So these brushes actually have shot up in value quite a bit recently. They come from this Russian ferret animal or a weasel and uh, the thing about these weasels is that they are actually pests. So people were um, killing them because of that and it wasn't like the brush manufacturers the brush manufacturers were killing them it's just that people were because they weren't good for um whatever they were doing for their farms or whatnot or their uh, livestock and then the manufacturers are like well since you're doing that anyway can we get this fur it, it turns out that the fur of these animals makes for very good watercolor brush brushes, very, very high quality. These Windsor & Newton um, Kalinsky Sable brushes are actually, for inking, they've probably been the industry standard for for decades and decades. And they're very, very expensive, valuable brushes, and even more so lately because what happened is that... Um, people were killing these uh, weasels so much they did start to become endangered so now it's like against the law to do that um, so these brushes are like harder to come by now and they are um, the ones that are around are a lot more expensive than they used to be so like people can sell their their stock whatever stock they have of it like art stores can still sell that but you cannot get these brushes anymore that is my like like new ones can't be produced uh, past a certain point that's my understanding of the situation I admit I'm not an expert of it so if anybody if I if I am incorrect about something somebody can correct me in the comments um, the I'm using the speedball super black and this brush to get in the main lines of this figure as you're seeing I will come in with other inking utensils to clean up my lines a bit and add fine detail but to get these main lines of this figure in I'm choosing to use a size 4 so that's the size of the brush these brushes come in different sizes and I have the same type this Kalinsky sable brush but in two different sizes this is the bigger of the two I will come in with the smaller of the two. So this is a size four and the other will be is, is a size two. 
Um, the ink that I'm using, my girlfriend helped me find because what was happening is that I was inking and I was using alcohol markers like Copics over the ink that I was doing. So I was lining my work with uh, India ink. It was the brand I was using at the time was Higgins Black Magic. And then I would go over that ink with Copic markers. And what would happen is that the Copics would smudge this ink horribly. Okay, so now I am coming in just to interject. I am coming in with my smaller brush to do some finer points like the hands on this figure. But the Copics would smug this, smudge this ink horribly, the Higgins Black Magic. And my girlfriend was seeing that I was like having this issue. So she looked up a list. Uh, she compiled a list of... Um, inks that you can use that were like bottle inks that you can buy that were like Copic friendly and she like came up with this list and we chose the uh, Higgins I'm sorry we chose the Speedball Super Black and yes it, it does work a lot better with alcohol markers than the Higgins Black Magic ink does though the Black Magic ink is really good in its own right just um, I wouldn't recommend using it in conjunction with alcohol markers this ink works fine for that purpose and um, it's a very very good dark rich black ink as well so now I'm coming in with a micron technical pen again to clean up the lines and to add details do some hatching but as you're seeing here there's quite a bit to inking it's not just a simple matter of just tracing with whatever you have around there is quite an art to this and to um, I find for my purposes to get the results that I want to achieve I need to have a variety of tools I don't just use like brushes and that's it or just a certain type of pin and that's it you're seeing just in the span of this video that I'm coming in with a multitude of tools and different sizes as well <clears throat> so yeah cleaning up some of the lines with the technical pin and you know you get different you get very different results from all of these tools like the brush yields this nice flowy line the technical pin is easier to control very good for fine fine details and um, straighter lines but um, there's a place for all of these different tools um, I find the brush is the most difficult to get the hang of there is a learning curve to inking and brushes, you know, are probably the toughest of the utensils to really um, get a hold of. So these are Fudinoske, um brush pens, fine brush pens. They come in a variety of colors. I'm going to use them to go in there and get in some hair texture and to also clean up some of the some of the bigger lines that I was doing with the um, Windsor and Newton brush. Now that is a Pigma bold brush pen. They come in different sizes and this is the bold. So this is a brush pen. It, 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 it is a pen itself, but it behaves more like a brush. Though in my estimation, not exactly like a brush, but somewhat, quite a bit actually, but still not quite the same. And I'm, I am again using it to clean up some of the lines around this character and I'm hoping this is useful for people to see what goes on behind the scenes with Satswan like what I'm doing when I'm working on the project what tools I'm using that's very helpful I I, th I think I'm trying to you know help people out who could be interested in taking up this um, craft or just let people know um, what's going on behind the scenes in Zatswan if they just like the comic. That's why I'm making these videos. I hope they're entertaining. Now I'm just, you know, touching up some of the lines, but I will do more inking videos because there's a lot to say about inking and I will just do more um, art videos in general. So I will give you guys more um, more of a view on what goes on behind the scenes in Zaswan, but I will be closing this out. I hope it was enjoyable for you. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. That's a big help. All right, guys, take care.